Hey guys, Fistek here. This is the first part of World Bosses from my Fresh Level 90 segment. For those that have just hit Level 90, the bosses Shah of Anger and Galleon are considerable additions to your weekly routine, gearing up for raids. They are easily farmed and groups are being formed for either of them regularly. Shah of Anger is the easiest of the World Bosses. He spawns every 15 minutes. Galleon, on the other hand, has a 2 hour spawn time. Enjoy! So it looks like we're doing Shah of Anger. This is another world boss. It's been out for a little while, released with the game, but thought I might cover it. So this boss is uh, on a 50 minute timer. It is the quickest spawning boss. Quickest spawning world boss. And um, it's got a fairly simple uh, mechanic. I mean, it's got a couple mechanics. We're looking at uh, it MCs. He spawns adds and he puts down a pool of, I don't know, smoke, death stuff that uh, increases the damage you take by 20%, but also increases the damage you output by 20%. And now with the fantastic faction tagging that we get, these bosses die really quick. See this right now? Overcome by anger. So yeah, if I was to AoE right now, I would probably pull and die. Pull all those adds and die. So I am MC'd. Let's see if I can wreck anybody. Oh yeah, and it turns your screen to an awesome grayscale. So yeah, I'm MC'd. No big deal. Just killing some people, blowing my cooldowns. Would love a heal. But yeah, I... I these bosses are pretty pretty unique compared to VOA, that's for sure. One thing they could get away with in VOA is they were relatively complex fights compared to the world bosses we have now. But I mean, these have to be simple. Otherwise, uh, they would never die. They'd be easily griefed by the opposing faction, they just never die. So I, I definitely do prefer these over VOA type. I'm not gonna AoE because I'm gonna die. Um, I'd love a heal. I have to stop and bandage myself. What the fuck is this? Reminds me of fucking. Vanilla Wow. Stopping combat to to heal myself. Make sure you bring bandages. Might need to heal yourself. Playing my warlock, not having a single threat reducer. There was no. Oh, uh, what the fuck is it? Shattering soul. There was none of that crap. If you were high on threat meters. Which honestly, for the longest time, I didn't even have a threat meter. What was the first one? It was like TH, THC was I think was the first threat meter. God, to stop and wand, bandage myself. But yeah, this is a fairly entertaining fight. It's a 15-minute spawn time, so these groups are being made all the time. It's got a couple different random spawning areas in the. Kulai Summit, but it's a decent fight. I give this a I give this a solid B. I prefer longer uh, respawn timers on these bosses, but uh, I think it's nice to have a couple that are quick, 15-20 minute respawns. Oh yeah, I already killed it this week. Forgot about that. So yeah. Check back, guys. I will be doing a couple more of these, and I hope you enjoy them. Thanks again. So now that they changed this boss to a two-hour, I think, much easier to uh, encounter him. Man, he used to be really hard. I kind of liked it. I, I honestly, I wish they wouldn't. I wish they had a couple of bosses like Shaw, and then a couple of bosses that were that are. Um, difficult. 
difficult to tap, tag, uh, and get loot from. Ones that you actually, like, would get a call from a, a raid leader or a guild master at 3 in the morning and have to log in to kill. Not have to, but want to because because uh, drops good loot or helps progress the guild. I remember waking up at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. right before class um, and killing Azure Ghosts or any of those guys. It's good stuff. It's fantastic stuff. Guild building stuff. Community building stuff right there that you can't fabricate, you can't create. I mean, with CRZ and stuff like that, it would have been difficult, I understand, but it could have made it work. This boss fight's relatively simple, honestly speaking, I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> it looks like he jumps up and does AoE damage, he summons adds that I'm guessing you should kill. Um, beyond that though, doesn't seem like he does a whole lot. AoE damage and adds, pretty much. which. Makes sense, considering this is an outside boss and PvP does happen. You can't do crazy difficult uh, mechanics like, uh, um, fucking, what was his name? Doom Lord Kazakh. I guess he was technically called just Kazakh before. And, uh, you could seriously wipe other guilds very, very easily with his AoE Shadow Bolt Leech Life stuff that would heal him up if died. So that's why these fights are so simple. But I like them. I, I, I like them a lot. Thanks for watching. Make sure to comment and subscribe. You can check out my Twitter page and I stream every night on Twitch.